Leprechauns and pots of gold. You already know we are celebrating St. Patrick's Day. But enough of the green beers and the weird biscuits with the green fondant while you wear your green top hat. We're staying green, but healthy green, with some beautiful zucchini noodles, finished with some pesto and some broccoli stem that I've pickled. A bit of parmesan oregano, and we're in for a treat. Let's go. So first, I'm actually gonna use some broccoli to do a pickle, but we're not gonna use the top part. We're actually gonna use the bottom that you most of the time throw away. So we're going to learn one way to actually save as much as possible from anything we're using. So let's do it. All right, so for the pickling liquid, let's add a cup of sugar, a cup of your favorite vinegar. I'm using rice vinegar in this case, and a cup of water. So uh, pretty much the same quantity always for pickling liquid. You're gonna add that to the boil, I'm gonna add a few spices that I've toasted and give it a whisk. And as you can see, I finally got my tiny whisk. I'm super happy. Now let's grab our broccoli stems and we're gonna give them a nice peel. When you remove that bark, we're gonna put them onto the mandoline and give them a nice slice. Make sure it's really thin so you can see the light. I'm gonna grab my hot liquid. And I'm gonna pour it over just like so, which we call a quickle and I'm gonna set it aside. Okay, so the pickles are ready. Now let's work on the pesto and use that beautiful basil. Okay, so for the pesto, we're gonna add some pine nuts to a pan and give them a nice toasty toast so we get the extra flavor from the oil. Then we're gonna smash some garlic. Um, you can add really the amount of garlic you want. I like mine to be quite balanced, so I'll put about two cloves of garlic. To a blender, I'm gonna add that garlic I just peeled and chopped and add about a cup of Parmesan. I'm also going to add all my pine nuts that we just toasted and we're gonna add some oil and we're gonna do the first blend and so we're gonna grind all of this together until it forms a nice smooth paste. And feel free to really go at it. We wanna make sure this is really smooth and you don't have any thick pieces. We're gonna add um, about a quarter of lemon zest into to give that little zing and then we're gonna start on our basil. So we're gonna take a lot of it. Um, I like my basil to be pretty strong in basil. At the end of the day, that's kind of the main flavor. And we need to pick it. So take it from the stalks because we don't want the stalks in our pesto. Once you have all the leaves detached from the stalk, you can uh, add them to the blender and then we're gonna start blending them with a little bit more oil as well. And we are now going to start the emulsification of the pesto. So you're going to take your olive oil and add it really slowly. You want to make sure that everything is incorporated before you add more oil. So go slowly on the oil and then give that little blender a boost to make sure like everything is incorporated nice and smooth. Take a peek at it. It looks beautiful. It smells fantastic. We are so happy. So now we are going to place it into a bowl and set it aside for the next steps. Just like that. All right, so we worked on the pickle. We just finished our pesto, which we'll season a bit later, but it's already seasoned with the salt from the Parmesan. Now we're going to start working on the zucchini and we're gonna turn them into our delicious spaghetti. So we're gonna use our spiralizer right here. And all you gotta do is to make sure all your veg are washed and we're gonna cut it in half. Place it just like so. And then we're gonna just start creating a spiral. And if you don't have a spiralizer, I will not put the shame on you, although I may. You can also buy them at your grocery store. All right, and the time has come to cook a beautiful Zuki's nudes. So we're gonna start by heating some olive oil into a medium saucepan, and we're gonna add a long stringy zucchini noodles into our pan, and we're gonna season them with a bit of black pepper and some salt. Once you've added those two, I like to add a bit of lemon zest to add a zesty flavor into our pasta. Then comes the pesto, the pesto that we work so hard on. It's delicious and now it's going to add all of these flavors into our pasta that is going to rock your world. Speaking of rocking, let's start to shake our pan to make sure that all the elements are combined together. And if it's a bit sticky, feel free to use your tongue. I'm using a uh, tweezer because I'm just that fancy. Uh, let's add some pine nuts and give it one last shake. All right, so the zucchini noodles are cooked. We are now going to plate them. So I'm just gonna grab my tweezers and kind of separate them. Roll them. And 
Here we go. And we're gonna garnish with some of our pickles. A little bit of black pepper, some pine nuts, and then we're gonna finish with some fresh parmesan. And here you have it, how simple. All right, if you enjoyed my St. Patrick's Day zucchini noodle recipe, please, as always, drop me a like, a comment, and a subscribe. I really appreciate it. And then I will see you on the next episode. And if you allow me. Hmm. That is just perfect. See you soon.